Hi, my name is Penny the Paintbrush, and I would like to tell you a story of a famous artist. I have a lot of paintbrush friends who have all worked with famous painters, but in my opinion, I got to work with the most famous one. His name is Vincent Van Gogh. You may be familiar with Vincent Van Gogh and may have also heard of his painting, The Starry Night, but there is so much more to this brilliant artist. Vincent Van Gogh was born March 30th, 1853. He is the oldest of five siblings. At the age of 15, his family was struggling financially and he was forced to leave school and go to work. He got a job at his uncle Cornelius's art dealership. In June of 1873, he moved to London, where he fell in love with the English culture. He visited art galleries in his spare time and also became a fan of the writings of Charles Dickens and George Eliot. He fell in love with his landlady's daughter, Eugene Lawyer. However, she rejected his marriage proposal which sent him into a depression. After that, he decided to devote his life to God. Van Gogh then taught in a Methodist boys' school and also preached to the congregation. Hoping to one day become a minister, he prepared to take the entrance exam to the School of Theology in Amsterdam. After a year of studying, he refused to take the Latin exams calling Latin a dead language. So in the fall of 1880, he decided to pack up his things and move to Brussels and become an artist. Though he had no formal art training, his younger brother Theo, who worked as an art dealer, offered to support his brother financially. He began taking art lessons on his own. His first masterpiece was called Potato Eaters and in March 1886, he moved to Paris, France. In Paris, he saw his first impression of art, and he was inspired by the color and light. He also became influenced by Japanese art and began studying Eastern philosophy to enhance his art and his life. In February 1888, he boarded a train to the south of France, where he moved into the little yellow house and spent his money on paint rather than food. Before long, it became apparent that in addition to suffering from physical illnesses, his psychological health was also declining. On July 29, 1890, at the age of 37, Vincent Van Gogh passed away. His younger brother, Theo, and Theo's wife, Joanna, collected as many of Van Gogh's paintings as they could, but discovered that many of them had been destroyed or lost. On March 17, 1901, 71 of Van Gogh's paintings were displayed at a show in Paris, and his fame grew enormously. His mother lived long enough to see her son hailed as an artist and a genius. Today, Vincent van Gogh is considered the greatest Dutch painter after Rembrandt. He completed more than 2,100 works, consisting of 860 oil paintings and more than 1,300 watercolors, drawings, and sketches. Several of his paintings rank among the most expensive in the world, Irises sold for a record $53.9 million, and his portrait of Dr. Gauchette sold for $82.5 million. Vincent van Gogh is remembered as a post-impressionist painter. His artwork is known for its beauty, emotion, and color. I hope you have enjoyed my story of Vincent van Gogh. The End.